Hey guys, so this is going to be the strip down challenge. If you don't know what the strip down challenge is, it is 10 minutes of talking, no cuts, no edits, no nothing. So um, be prepared for me to sound a hot mess, just warning you. So let me go ahead and get this timer up. Okay, so back when I first started doing YouTube, back in June, I used to do all my videos live. It was me recording. Like if you go back to the video where I talked about her side chicks winning and my crazy roommate story and stuff like that, those were all lives because I didn't know how to cut and edit and, you know, do all that stuff. So I was like, okay, let me just do it straightforward and I would have to film those videos multiple times like dead serious and what sucks is every time I make a video something happens it's either my phone rings I have to cough I have to sneeze I get really thirsty or I randomly get really really hot and it's just so annoying so I get so frustrated sometimes making videos where it was you know just all live and no cuts and edits. Okay, so these pants right now I got on. I don't know if you guys saw them, but maybe I'll stand up and show you. These pants. I got these from Love Culture for $15.99. They were on sale. And my mom and my sister said it is so ugly. I'm like, I like them. They're cute, especially just to lay around the house and do nothing. Like today. Today is one of those days where... No work, no nothing, 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 nothing. Today I do have class, class to start today, but I I may do it to start today. I don't know, because it's online classes, so I don't know, I might start. We'll see where that goes. Um, let's see, what can I talk about? Why I started my YouTube channel? Yeah, this is a perfect video to do that. Okay, so I started my YouTube channel back in... 2010 and originally it was supposed to be something where I can practice my acting I can upload monologues and everything and the viewers could tell me what they think and just give me some critiques and stuff and now I just started really taking it seriously because back then I never had the equipment or really had time to upload as often as I wanted to I, I used to have this notebook and it was a big notebook and I always write all my goals down for like the whole year so um, and when I want to do it and YouTube was one that was like always on there like okay you're gonna upload like this many times you know in January and February you're gonna upload this many times and stuff like that along with all my personal goals that I have as well so I just never had the time to do it working full time and in school full time. It's just, no, it wasn't working out for me. And on top of that, the people that I lived in the house with, they would just barge into my room and, you know, all that stuff and be distracting. And I was like, okay, seriously, what are you doing? And I'm looking like, making a video for what and then it's like okay you know YouTube yeah that's how it is that's how it is usually especially in my family um because I didn't really share some people know I have a YouTube channel and some people don't but I didn't really share because there's a lot of people that just would put Put you down for whatever it is you want to do so if you want to say oh yeah I make YouTube videos they will look at you like seriously especially like in this time of age if you get paid to make money on YouTube and make videos and stuff they're gonna look at you like seriously you make YouTube videos how about getting a real job so that's how like a lot of people are in my family a lot of people are not like that but a lot of, of them are um but yeah, but now I guess my story times are the ones that's more popular. I wanted to do story times and just make my channel all about me. Like 
you know, a lot of people say if you want to have a successful YouTube channel, you have to have a specific topic. And my specific topic is all about me. I'm going to upload whatever it is that I want to upload. So whether it's hair, beauty, fashion, style, monologues, short scenes, skits, whatever. And that's what I'm going to do. It's my channel. It's all about me. And it all represents me. So at the end of the day, I am completely straight. That's my thing. Me. So... I don't know. I just talk about a variety of things on my channel, but it's just the way for me to feel more comfortable in front of the camera and give me that extra confidence and give me something to look forward to because, and this is really why I'm really more active on YouTube is because there's so much drama in my life right now and I just always think and see this drama and this negativity going on and I feel like YouTube is my platform where I can escape you know and I don't have to worry about that negative stuff that's going on right now and I put more time into YouTube than I do with anything else like times when I'm supposed to be doing my homework it's like forget I don't feel like doing my homework I'm going to make a video for YouTube because it's a distraction for me to not look at that stuff you know I'm always like constantly thinking about that stuff so it's like YouTube is that place where I could just be myself I could be happy I have something to look forward to um you guys are like my best friends like I love each and every one of you like I talk to you you guys know more about me I think than my friends you guys I don't tell my friends I don't tell no one anything because I always you know there's so many fake people and everything, but I feel like you guys know me better than majority of the people out there. Even like my closest friends, some of the stuff that I tell you guys or whatever, they don't know. So, yeah, that's that's <laughs> why I made my YouTube channel, just to really escape. And that's why I took a different direction and just not focus on... Just monologues, but just like everything. Just one, to help grow my channel and two, to just, you know, make me happy. And I really love interacting with you all. So that's why I have my YouTube channel. That's the main reason. Um, it's not for like the money or you get the fame and, you know, all that stuff. Like, I don't care about that. And I'm not even a popular YouTuber or anything. I have like. 380 something subscribers 386 shout out to all no I think I have 384 shout out to all 384 of you subscribers who watches my videos um it means a lot so I mean I doesn't I don't care about that stuff it's just what I like to do and I love interacting with you guys if my channel grows then hey that's great if it doesn't then whatever I don't care but it's just my platform to escape and just, you know, improve my acting and be more comfortable in front of the camera. And that's pretty much it. Um, it sucks that, like, YouTube is, like, that, that, um, where people are making that transition just to do it for money and for the fame and it's not actually for like passion or you know something to do or whatever it's just that people are doing it now just for attention or for fame and money and I see that all the time like I look at these people who I was subscribed to a long time ago and I could see their content and everything just completely changed their personalities you know they're not putting a lot of effort into their videos anymore they I heard a lot of YouTubers have become so rude and disrespectful like they're famous. Okay, yeah, you have a lot of subscribers and you have a lot of fans and stuff, but at the same time, you're not famous. Like, I hate when people, they go and they act a certain way because they have a lot of money and they have fans and stuff. Like, okay, I feel like this. This is my thing. And I always say this because it irritates my soul when these people in the world like females for instance all they do is date a celebrity and then they become famous and then they have all these acting jobs and modeling jobs opposed to those people who spend their life trying to get there but they never make it or they get stuck or 
it take years for them to get there but these people all they gotta do is date a celebrity and then everybody like worships them and stuff so I call them part-time celebrities because that's exactly what they are but it annoys me that these people get presented opportunities and they don't have to really work for it and you know they get all these fans and subscribers and you know all this stuff but I always say there's a difference between being famous and being a star like it is growing up I always wanted to be a star and what a star is is someone who has talent and this is something that they work hard and they're passionate about opposed to my time is up okay I'm gonna just finish what I'm gonna say opposed to you know someone who is famous for absolutely no reason and that's anybody anybody could be famous like anybody could be famous YouTube famous internet famous um Instagram famous all that stuff like date a celebrity then you're famous like automatically just fame and so I feel like anybody could be famous anybody in this world you can be famous I can be famous whatever but a star is someone that has the goals and had these dreams and they've been working for it their entire life or maybe they maybe as an adult and they is something they just realized that they wanted to do and they're striving for that but those people no offense to like those females who dated celebrities and became famous some of them have turned that into something great and made a career for that and it's no hate there but at the same time it's to me I feel like it's very annoying because now I have to sit here and I have to wait when I go out, go out on an audition and let's say who is famous for Amber Rose for instance say that we both go on an audition and we're up for the same row I feel like casting directors are going to look okay who could benefit us more from this film Here's Raven. She's not famous and nothing, but she is a really good actress and she really did her thing in this, you know, audition. But here's Amber Rose. What can she benefit? How can she benefit us? Um, she has a lot of fans. A lot of people are going to go see the movie just because it's Amber Rose. She could bring in a lot of money and, you know, all that stuff. And I feel like they have a higher chance of going with the person who is famous than the person who has talent just because of what they can offer so I mean not all I'm not saying like all casting directors and stuff like that but sometimes that's how it is and it really sucks so um yeah that's pretty much all I guess I gotta say so um yeah I never know how to end these I, I'm well, all tongue tied don't know what to say but yeah thanks for watching this um and i will see you all in my next video